Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of the new version of Adobe Express's video editor. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. You'll find it in your Adobe Express account when you're signed in on your desktop or laptop computer. And sign into your account, you'll see Adobe Express Beta. Click on that and you'll be launched into the new beta version. You'll find it at new.express.adobe.com. It's a mouthful of a URL. But I want to focus now on the new video editor. There's a lot of different things in there, but let's look at the video editor. And you can choose one of these social media style video templates or you can go and just use a generic video. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start from scratch. And in starting from scratch, we're going to notice something that's different right away. Number one, the frame, the default length of the frame is five seconds, which is a little bit shorter than in the previous version of Adobe Express's video editor. But as you'll see in a moment, you can also be very precise in how long each frame is displayed for. Let's add a picture to this frame, the first frame or first scene in our video. And you have the option to upload it from your computer. You can do a search or you can use this new text to image feature. And I'm going to try that one right now. I'm going to look for a widescreen text to image. And I want an image of a happy man with a puppy. It's hard not to be happy when you have a puppy. And so we're going to get some pictures here that are of a man with a puppy. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, there is the list of results. Now I can load even more. And it'll generate some more options for me to pick from. But let's say I want to pick uh, this one here, or this one, or this one. Let's pick this one. And now I can click and drag to make that picture fit the frame. So now that I have that picture, I want to add some text to it. And let's go to add text. And I'm just going to simply write something like happy day. Because it's hard not to be happy when you have a puppy. And Adobe Express is going to recommend some font styles for me, some text styles for me. And I can click and drag to reposition that. And if I don't like that color scheme, let's just highlight it and go down here to our fill color. And we go to custom. Maybe I want to use green. Well, now I have green font up there. Probably not the best color scheme, but I've never been accused of picking the best color schemes, but I'm gonna go with that one for right now. Now, let's say I only want this to appear for five, instead of five seconds, for four seconds. Well, I can just click and drag and have that frame now be only four seconds long. Let's go back to our media section here and then add scene. And I'm going to use that text to image again. And I want to get a picture of a woman with a happy kitten or a happy woman with a kitten. Because again, kittens make everybody happy. And we're going to get some artwork generated through the use of Adobe Express's AI. And there we have it. And I can pick the one that I want to use. Let's say I want to use this one instead of the default one that was selected for me. Or if I want to switch it back, I can. And then click and drag to make it fit the frame. And again, I could add text on top of this if I wanted to. But for now, 
I'm happy with what I have, except that I want to make it a little bit shorter frame. I'm going to have that one be just a four second playback as well. And now let's add another scene. And in the media section, instead of using images, this time I want to use a video. Let's find a happy kitten or a playful kitten. And we'll find a whole bunch of little kitten videos. Let's pick that one. And if I don't want it to play for 11 seconds, I can just click and drag to shrink it down. Now let's go back to the beginning of my video. And select media. And I want to add some background audio. Now I can still upload from my computer. I can record a voiceover just like I could in the previous version of Adobe Express's video editor. But I can also use Adobe Express's gallery of music. And let's choose this one here. Happy Family Loop. You'll see that my video is 15 seconds long, but this music is 20 seconds long. Well, it's automatically trimmed to the length of my video. And now we can play it back. And so far, it's kind of a boring video. Let's click there and let's add in some other elements like a little brush and just have that appear for a second. So I'm going to click and drag, have that appear for less than a second and use that as a bit of a transition. Now let's go back and see what it looks like. All right. I kind of like it. So, Let's say I'm happy with it. I can click the download button. I can use a share button. Let's hit that download button. It's going to download as an MP4. And once it's downloaded, I can use it wherever I want. So that's a short overview of the new video editor available in the beta version of Adobe Express. And again, this works on your desktop or a laptop. Works best in the Chrome web browser. Not available for the mobile version of Adobe Express quite yet. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.